Hey everybody, welcome to Working Horses with Jim. We had an unexpected little blessing this morning. We were expecting a lot of rain, and we are today. But Jim had a little bit of window this morning before the rain really started. So he said, I'm gonna go and mow some hay. So they have been at it this morning already. How's it going? Rough? Real rough. Real hard mowing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, so what did you think? You sharpened your um, blades this morning, right? And? It helped a little. But it tends to, I can mow better this way than the other way. And even now I'm just gonna go up and go all the way back empty and mow this um, last couple passes, um, just one way. Because it's laying this, well, that the, way. Well, the way, I mean, you've got to be up there, but that tall reed canary grass is over their heads, and it's just, it's uh, laying right down, so you've got to recut all, the, all of it again. It's hard to explain, but sometime I'll show it close up and explain it. Yeah, well, we'll go along with you this morning and see what we can find out. I'll show you some of the uncut hay over here. It's just tall and very unruly laying down in places not that fun When you are finishing up a field, you end up with a narrow strip down the middle. And so my cutter bar is six feet long. And a lot of times that narrow strip goes, you know, down to two feet wide or something like that. And then goes right down to almost nothing. And so you end up, the end of the cutter bar is going through the hay that's already been cut. And so it plugs up, you know, a lot. Sometimes I'm able to stop and back up and get it free and then go ahead. But a lot of times I just have to stop and get the big wad that you can see on the end of this cutter bar out of there and start again. Here I'm backing up, hoping it's going to fall off enough so I can go. And then I try to get over the stuff and then drop it back in. And I know it's gonna plug up again, but as it goes to a, a the point, there's less there so I can, a lot of times I can just find a spot in the cutter bar that's that's free and cut the rest of it down but it can be a challenge at times
couple of times. Okay. Gotcha. A lot of down hay here. Down grass. So this is what I call the back swath. This is where the horses walked when we opened up this field and made our first cut when we made when we started cutting here. And so we knocked the hay over with the horse's feet and now I'm going backwards and trying to cut that. And it's a difficult spot to cut because it's been knocked down by the horses. And also the hay that I cut the first time around has fallen into it, so it's even worse. So I have to cut a tremendous amount of hay sometimes in the process of getting this done. And it's, it's just a challenge to do that. There's a lot of different ways to open up a field. Some people like to go and do their back swath first. And I generally wait and go, a lot of times I'll go two or three times around and then do my back swath. In this particular field, I ended up doing the whole field and now I'm doing the back swath at pretty well at the end. There's a lot of reasons why this hay is cutting so hard. It is late in the season already and this stuff is so overgrown, so it's just extra thick. So at times the hay is falling down and so you actually have to almost recut some of the stuff that you just cut. So it's just extra hay that's in the cutter bag. Also, there is several species, the June grass, for example, that as it grows it just gets very very tough and it's a fine fine grass so it gets kind of caught between the knife and the ledger plate and, and their guards and it just plugs up there and so it's just one more thing that makes that hard to cut. The cutter bar has to be just about perfect to be able to mold this type of, of hay and my cutter bar is good but my mow machine itself with my wheels with little traction makes it a little bit difficult, but it doesn't matter even if you had really good traction. If you don't have a good cutter bar, you're just not gonna mow this stuff. This is how tall the grass is. If you were wondering why I have this piece of baler twine tied to my seat, a couple days ago I was having terrible troubles with my Pittman rod and it would pop off the ball for some reason and uh, I know only the farmers are going to understand what I'm talking about here but um, I was just having trouble so anyways I had a hammer tied to my seat 
so that I could kind of pop it back together and continue on. Will he be able to get it all on this one sweep? Let's see. There, there's there's some work for us. This stuff is really thick. Does that ever unclog by itself when it? It's like a weed eater. Every once in a great while, it will, but most of the time, you have to unclog it. And it gets bound up. Now, are you cob jobbing something there, or is this what everybody has to do with their mowers? I'm cob jobbing. I figured. It's sprinkling, and we're done just in time, I think. I know, that's awesome. Jim said he didn't expect to get this done. He had come down last night and um, after our picnic and had done a good share of this, but there was still some left in the middle, so he was very pleased that it wasn't raining yet. It is sprinkling now, so. Um, well, I'll give you a chance to talk about it later. How you, or let's do it right now. Let you mow wait be sometimes right before it rains so that yeah a lot yeah a lot of times i mow just before it rains because i know as soon as the nice weather hits us it's going to take hours to get the hay down so this just gives me that head start and the green grass with fresh with rain on the green grass like this freshly cut it really doesn't hurt it that much at all and so it just gives me that big head start so i've been doing that quite a bit the last few years 
mowing just before it rains or even in the rain just to, to get as much down as I can. We gotta do what we can when we farm this way. Shut up. We're back in the hay field. We had some rain last night, but it didn't seem to hurt the hay too much. Um, it's the afternoon now, the morning was dreary. The sun's out. Jim has the Belgians and he's on the tether. He's fluffing the hay to help get it dry. He waited till this afternoon because he wanted the top of the hay to be dry before he fluffed it up. And it is, it looks good. Hi, Bill and Lady. How you doing, guys? I'm not a fan of motors, but this motor is not too bad. I believe it's a Honda motor. The tether's bringing the green to the surface. Today. We've got our work cut out for us, but that's okay. We're hoping for some good weather. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, would you consider doing so? It just helps um, you to know. If you subscribe, they, they let you know when new videos come out, especially if you tap the bell, click the bell. They'll notify you every time a new video comes out. And we do appreciate all your support.